It was about a year ago. We had, uh, we were cleaning out containers of uh, my dad's stuff. Found a, about a dozen fire helmets and figured, okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these right now. So we eventually ended up hanging them up in the lobby just outside the classroom. And they, they looked pretty slick. And you thought, okay, that, that kind of runs the distance of this wall and looks good. As you stood back and looked at it, I thought, wow, man, if we filled this whole wall up and then we're kind of in a lobby here and we got three walls, this would become a hall of helmets. We put out a call for helmets. And we did a couple of them and we ended up with I don't know, probably four or five dozen helmets so far. There's some space for about a dozen more, and then another row up top, which is about 18. So that'd be 30 more helmets to finish that main wall, and then probably another 120 to do the other two. So that's our goal, is we're gonna fill up this space with fire helmets. And we're looking for fire helmets from blue card fire departments. So if you've got a helmet, and what I would like is a retired helmet if you got them. And I don't care if it's, a, a, if it's an officer's helmet, it makes no difference. Just if you're a blue card fire department and you got a retired helmet, send it to us and we'll put it on the wall out here. Here's our address, send it here and uh, we'll post it up. And the other thing we're doing is send us your address with the helmet and we send you back an AVB helmet wall challenge coin. And we made, I don't know, four, 400 of these, whatever. We made one for each helmet. That's the only way you get one of these coins is you gotta have a helmet hanging up at the AVBCTC. It, don't hesitate, send us the helmet and we'll, uh, we'll give it a proper place to live the rest of its life.